M0FX. We right, let's be the first in the world to get this uh, iPhone app, which is the RSM1i for the ID52. So we've not done this, so we're going to do this now. So we've downloaded the app. Let's just get into it a minute from the usual app store. So we'll tap it and then we'll go menu on the menu. Then we're going to go set down to Bluetooth and we're going to go for pairing and connect. No, pairing reception. And it's and now we'll put scan on the iPhone, which is there. Right, saying scanning and it's found it very quickly. So it says not paired, we're gonna select it. Right, that was good, wasn't it? I'm very impressed with that, it paired instantly. So now, oh look at that, it's found the connection already. How good is that? So now we've got to remember how to use this app. So, we've got some icons down here. I know it's not very clear. Well, let's do it. So, picture sending. Yeah, we can do that. We just, um, let's see if I can send a picture now from my, actually no, you can't send a picture to your own device. You have to send it from another device. So I won't do that now. Let's just go tap receive at the top. Oh, TX history and that. So you can send pictures, but don't forget with the ID 52, to send a picture, you literally just go menu go to the picture and you can send one straight away. Now there is an app you could get for your phone called the ST4001 that you, where you can send photographs to your radio uh, and they're all pre-prepared and ready to send. But anyway, let's just go with the uh, other operations of the iPhone app. So we'll click that one there and it's gonna find my station as you can see. Let's, let's minimize here and let's tap on another repeater. Right, so Barry is a repeater there in Barry. Now let's see what it does to my radio. I know there's a way of making it change frequency. Let me just have a little play and suss it. Down here, there's a little, I know it says a little, I don't know what that is, but it's like a tool. We're going to tap it and you get this black screen. So let's just do one at a time. So call sign. Not really showing much there, is it? Maybe it's to add one. No, you can add here. Oh, you can add a call sign. Okay, fair enough. Can we cancel that? Go back to tool. Let's select, select repeater list. So you've got the whole repeater list here. So let's just select one, Canada, let's select that one. And it's just telling me all the details, so we'll close that. Let's go for application settings, let's have a look. So you've got a load of settings here, select default, scream, timeout, latitude, longitude, you can change that, don't forget, I've never used this app, high, Oh, it goes on, it's a long, not going to read them all, but look, there's loads of settings there. So have a look when you download the app. Tap the tools again. Let's do import. Let's see if we can import something. Repeater list. Download from the internet. Oh, look, it takes me there. I wonder, well, that's interesting. I mean, I use my Copla, but look, it's doing something there. Thanks, good. Maybe that updates my repeater list on my radio. See if it lets me send it. Add to the current list, I'll just select. Oh, no new data, because I have got the latest list, but it's still good though. You can update your repeater list with your phone and you can even export, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just look, look at the process though. Export your repeater list. Let's do my call sign because I know that's small. I don't want to fill up. Oh, nothing to be exported. Okay. Export. Let's just click receive history then. No data. Let's try one more. 
repeater list and it's actually doing it. That's interesting and I'm sure it will save it somewhere. That's interesting. Right, next one. Transceiver settings. Yeah, look, the power's on S low. Now let's look for it on the actual radio. It says S low there. Can you see it above the GPS? S L O. Let's change it to me to high. Do you see that? It changed it. High doesn't show anything, but medium does. High is five watts, medium's two point five watts. See that it did change it. Okay, that's good, isn't it? Transceiver settings. GPS mode, we've got that internal GPS. DB fast data. Yeah, excellent. So text message. Let's go hype and see what the radio does. Hi, transmit. Transmit. And you see it went into TX. It was only a high. That's good. I know there's a way where you can select maps. Bluetooth connection, let's have a look at it. Yeah, saying that's okay, we know we've got that. Oh, we disconnected it. So let's go back on, Bluetooth. We'll pair, oh, we click that. Right, connected, okay. Let's go back to DR. Now, if we tap that, and then from, yeah, so we can select things from, Near repeater, let's do a near repeater search. There you go. And here are the arm. We're just so we select when it should put it here. Cardiff, yeah, look, CQ, CQ, Cardiff, because when you're using a repeater, it's CQ, CQ. All right, let's do it again. DR. Right, let's uh, tap the top half. Let's do reflector, link to reflector, and then set, we'll just go set. I'll oh, get messages there. Uh, yeah, look, link to reflector, so that's worked. Let's go back to it's the map one I like. I can't seem to find that. Right, so we've got a whole new, let's just got a whole new list here when we tap the three lines. Tracking, FM repeater station, call sign, search, search the map. Let's do that. Oh, you can actually put in a call sign. So G, B, let's go seven, I don't know, C, D, done. Search up here. Right, Cardiff, so let's hit it and see if it puts it here. So I know that if on my other app, Android, you select it, I'm sure there's a way. And it puts it in for you into the radio. Oh, it's starting to fall over, but. Let me just keep playing a minute until I see if I can get it to work. Right, I think I've sussed it. So you find a repeater on the map, you tap it, and you get this. And then you can set the to and the from and the repeat, you get the repeater information. So we'll set the to. That's gone Cardiff. I don't think we actually need to do any more. Let's do another one. So let's go map. Let's go to a different part of the world. Right, we're in America. Idaho, I think. Tap it. Tap it again. And then let's go set. See that? Now it hasn't set the from, so it looks like we do have to set the from as well. The reason I think that is because it's I'm it thinks I'm near the Cardiff repeater, so it's going to go via the Cardiff repeater to this station here. Let's let's just go back again. Let's go set, tap it again, tap it again, and then we'll go set the from. Look, and it's set the from here. Look, so obviously I, I haven't, I'm not in America. I wouldn't use that. So that's quite neat. Right, we'll have a little play with the camera on the on the phone. We might as well. So, camera. Then we'll go. Let's have a look now. Uh, we want to send something, don't we? So let's have a look. Touch for one second to select a picture. All right. 
and we can use the camera or we just go to a photograph oh, there's nothing there so let's let's use the camera allow it it's not the greatest picture yes oh my god but anyway photo use photo done we keep it low quality and then we'll go start transmitting and it's sending it now it's not going to get anywhere because i'm not in america and it's been transmitted okay so that's pretty good so that's that function now have we looked at everything let's just tap this well, on the maps, what's this one here? Receive history. It looks like we haven't got any receive history. So I think that pretty much covers it. Let's do that. We know about the tools. We've got the menu here. So I, I think that's it, really. Let's go back to the map because that did look good. Go to, like, so. The map was probably my favourite thing. And the thing to remember is it did pair very easily. And to pair it iPhone just turns on the pairing automatically. Remember that, that's important. And then in the menu, I'll just go in the menu here. You go menu, set, Bluetooth set, then go to pairing reception. When you do that, it's sending out or receiving the ability for Bluetooth, and then your iPhone will automatically connect. So I think that was fun and it worked very well. So it's the, it's the RSM1i app for linking an iPhone to your iCom ID52. First demonstration, as far as I can see, on YouTube in the world. 7.3, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe. 7.3.